ice climbing in a cave? That's insane. Why not? As I reached the big chamber, I heard this strange sound, like uh, water. The vibrations were not good. Uh, too much weight uh, attached uh, to the harness, uh, too much uh, rain. The best thing uh, was that uh, the ice was uh, softer than expected. You know, when you, when you are here in the darkness, it's not the same as uh, when you are talking about the climb in the pub in front of a glass of wine. Now you are alone in the darkness and you say, what the fuck am I doing here? Now I have to climb. <laughs> the conditions were really much better for the climb because we didn't find the hard ice of the last time but everything was more soft and so definitely more climbable. On the sixth pitch, uh, still vertical ice. A step uh, of mixed uh, climb, uh, then a long and very narrow tunnel. Uh, as a caver, I felt uh, at home. This time, in six hours, with alternate climbing, we managed to climb the old ice fall. Oh yeah, send the route. <laughs> uh, the point was that the conditions were different, but much better than the last time. So we were really lucky about that. Yay! We made it!
We pushed the limits of perversion. Come on! For me, Velpe is a dream uh, come true. Ice climbing and caving, two dimensions that uh, I love, uh, one inside the other. Thanks uh, to my crazy friend uh, who made this possible. Oh, grazie. Allora. Grazie mille. Bravissimi. Grazie. Eh. Grande Alberto. Che mitici. Leo. Yeah. Grande. <laughs> Grandi voi, ragazzi. Ben fatta. Grandi, eh. Grande Andrea. Mitici, mitici. Cavers and alpinists had to join efforts. I'm definitely satisfied about this climb because it's, it's something that uh, I never heard about. Ice climbing in such a cave? This has never been done before. The strange thing is that one, one of the longest icefall in the Eastern Alps is not a side, but is inside a cave. Yeah, uh, are we going back next year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Please, no. <laughs>